Hey y'all, in this video I'm going to try a set of strap on tire chains for my tractor. I could only find these on eBay, so I bought a set to try. I couldn't find any dimensions in the eBay listing for them, and they originally came with a brown strap, which was 22 inches long and only overlapped about an inch before it was sewn back in. The metal section is about 18 inches. I tried to put them on the tractor the way they came, but they did not fit. So I had the straps replaced with longer ones. The new ones are 27 inches long with a five inch overlap. So here we go, putting the straps on the tractor. To use this style, your rim needs to have holes near the edge. The Moline has four on each rim. I priced actual tire chains and they cost $600 or more for 38 inch rims. We don't get ice here that often, so I wanted a cheaper solution. And full tire chains are heavy and would take a long time to put on. It took about 8 minutes to put all the chains on, and it was pretty easy. Alright, four tires, or four chains are on the tires. Get a closer look here. We'll see how it does. Okay, first trip down the driveway. They shifted a little bit, but not too bad. I didn't spin. Looks like uh, definitely have to check the tension after you run down the driveway once. So this one over here, it's shifted a little bit, so I'm gonna bring it around. I don't like it being all the way up there on the tread like that. This second look is after I did my neighbor's driveway, which was about eight inches deep with snow and had been driven on for about a week now. I was over there about an hour, and these chains held up well. I could feel and see the tire slip and then gain traction at each of the chains. Overall, I think they did okay. If you decide to get a set of these chains for your tractor, I would buy the style in this last picture. The connections in the style that I bought do bend easy and allow the chain to stack on itself. Thanks for watching.